Hello YouTubers, this is Shem, and in this video I'm going to show you how to downgrade your Sony Xperia Z1. I've had a few requests to make this video, so here it is. So first of all, go to the fleshtool.net website and download the newest version of Fleshtool. That is a must. Your device does not have to be rooted to use this tool. Once you have the Flash Tool up and running on your PC, go to the XDA Developers Forum link that you can find in the video description to download the FTF file that you are interested in. You can choose any location in the world, it doesn't have to be the one where you bought your phone. Once you download the firmware, go to your Flash Tool installation folder and place the firmware FTF file in the firmware's folder inside of Flash Tool. On your phone, go to Settings and then About Phone and click on the build number a couple of times until the developer options appear. Then go to the developer options and tick USB debugging. Now you can proceed to Flash Tool, so open the Flash Tool on your computer and then press the little lightning bolt icon, select Flash Mode and then select the firmware that you want to flash from the list. So the FTF file you placed in firmware should appear here. Then you can choose the wipe options, so exclude data here if you want to keep all data on your phone. And then click flash. After you click flash, power off your Sony Xperia Z1. And then connect it via the USB cable to your computer while holding the volume down key. The flashing process should now automatically begin and in a few minutes you should have your Sony Xperia Z1 running the requested firmware. If you find that Flash Tool does not recognize your device, this is most likely because of bad drivers on your computer or other interfering drivers. I have a solution for that, just follow the link in the video description to the ADB driver solution. Download software called USB DView and uninstall any unnecessary drivers that can be interfering with your Sony Xperia Z1. Before asking questions, please make sure you watch my most commonly asked questions video. And also, if you want to check out more Sony Xperia Z1 videos, I have a full playlist, so make sure you do check it out. 